Welcome back to Convicted Creations. Today on the show, I have a very special guest, Michael Ocho Terreno. Did I get Ocho it? Ocho Terrena. Terrena. Dang it. And you should know that because you're I my should. homie, man. I can't roll that R, man. I think it's all the hot stuff. <laughs> I'm trying here. So today I'm going to bring Michael on. We're going to talk a little bit about some prison food that he did when he was in prison. Yeah. First off, thank you. Thanks for coming. It's nice to be on this side of the, the bars. First of all, I'm a little upset because I was going to do prison tamales, being the Mexican on the show. And a white guy took my recipe. You know what I mean? That's how it goes. It's, it's this time of, time of year we're in, or the time that we're, we're living in, I guess, right? They take everything. <laughs> what the hell? Well, today we're going to do some menudo. I mean, this ain't your Nana's recipe, I'm <laughs> going to tell you. Not at and all. And you may be going to the bathroom after this. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, portion? Portion control is very yeah, important. Yeah, yeah, portions on this one. control. Today. So we got um, corn nuts. Um, kind you of, heard that right. You said corn nuts. I did say corn nuts. The consistency of corn nuts is hard. Very. So what I had you do for me is soak these overnight. So that way it gets that consistency of the menudo, the corn in the menudo. The ingredient that we all use, that every recipe I think the on your filler. show is going to be this. And the way we do this is... <laughs> Food processor. Yeah. Oops, it's coming call out. call that the RoboCoop. It's coming out. But there it is. <laughs> and then we got, of course, our pork rinds. We're chicharrones. Not gonna, we're not going to get the pork rinds from the meat market, but chicharrones right there. Yep. We got our soaked corn. We're going to add that in. Here we go. I've crushed them all up. Normally, I would be a little more violent with that, but... He doesn't want to catch another truck. Yeah, yeah. Not, not especially for ramen noodles. <laughs> Ready for some water? Yeah, get that hot water up in there. I'm gonna clean up your kitchen for you, man. Oh, no sweat. I don't want your Watch kitchen dirty. Watch the floor. I don't want your kitchen dirty, but I'm gonna put it in the corner. You can do it in the mop bucket. That was a very popular way of cooking anything in the prison was a mop bucket. Take the mop bucket, double line it with trash bags after you clean it very, very well, and uh, fill it with water and stairs. Yeah, because you, you ain't gonna get Tupperware in there, that's no, for sure. So no. you're gonna find whatever you can to use as a bowl. The tub you soak your feet in, yeah. you know. Yeah, plenty of those. <laughs> yeah. So there so you go. When you normally it's not gonna, make this. It, it's gonna be longer, it's gonna be, Probably a little bit more water, yeah. but we have a prepped one already yep. so that we're not eating raw raw ramens. Would this be something that you make for yourself or you make as a spread for more than one? Um, usually, and this is how it is in California, I'll be honest, is um, it's usually divided by race. Sure. So you know that. Sure. So all, all the, the Mexicans on the thing want their menudo, special occasion. Yep. We usually ate that during uh, New Year's and Christmas. Sure. So we would make a big old spread for everyone. Absolutely. You know that. Or that, soccer games. Or soccer games. <laughs> Sorry. Bad joke, bad joke. Yeah. So we're gonna so add this together now? Let's add that together. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Dude, I cleaned your kitchen and uh, now you're I making I gotta mess. mess it up to you. Alright, chicharroni. I, I don't feel at home if I don't mess it chicharroni. up. Chicharroni. Think that's enough? Yeah, I think. Uh, like, yeah, or do you make more. pork rinds? You, you, you didn't get the spice. Yeah, I didn't either. get 250 eating lettuce. So you mix that all up. The special ingredient, what? Is, a, is a seasoning. Heart attack in a bag. Heart attack in a bag. If I can open this. Chopper. Yeah, yeah, here we go, here we go. You know the cool thing, man, is that now that we're out, we would have never been friends <laughs> inside. Or making menudo together. Or making menudo together. Exactly. But the cool thing now is we're out, we're, do we're both doing good for ourselves, Absolutely. and now we're homies, right? And laughing about it. And laughing right? about what we used to eat. Because you know what's even funnier? I'm a pampered actor now, man. I'm, like, I'm not gonna eat this well, stuff anymore. Well, since you're pampered, <laughs> we get to taste this now. All right. We get to show this off. So I'll make a clear um, path to the bathroom because we may be running to the bathroom after this. <laughs> Ready. I got to get some of the Get that ramen in on there. there. Why didn't the white guys make this? You know what, though? What in the world? It's just not as good as I remember it, though. I don't either. Where's that line to the bathroom? Mm -hmm. huh? You guys clear that path, right? Make a move. If you'd like to check out this episode or any of our other ones, please go to Hempful Farms com and purchase our Convicted Creations cookbook. Or go to YouTube and check out our season two that's being released today. Check it out, Chris. We Ooh. got time we got more for seconds. Haters may be famous. They do.